Sharp Shot 21 here. We are finally getting back into the Voron uh, V0 rebuild. We're going to take a break from the Voron V2 and we're going to get back into the V0. Um, when I put it together initially, those were temporary parts. It is now time to do the rebuild on it. And so we're going to go over the parts and maybe get started on putting it together today. For the parts today, we've got a new base plate new backer plate with the serial number and then we have reprinted all or just about all of the printed parts for it and we've got the top half printed as well and I didn't print all the parts for instance I didn't print the parts for the pocket watch those ones are still good and you don't see them so those are gonna stay but uh, things like the Z motor mount needed to get re reprinted because they were the quality was really bad. The uh, front piece for the um, bed carrier was bad. I mean, the, the, the stratification on the layer lines was just like nuts. I had uh, cracked these pieces and they were warped fairly severely. These ones nice and straight. Uh, I'd snapped off the gear on one of these two pieces, the threading on these and the nuts was not great. And then I didn't have the top hat because I just could not print this piece on the TiVo. But on the 2.4, oh, I can print this piece. Um, I pretty much killed this thing on the on the V0. All of these little spacers weren't dimensionally correct. There, there was a bunch of stuff that needed needed fixing. I did reprint certain pieces of a uh, pocket watch, like the uh, eye guard block and the tensioner. That's, uh, that's where things stand. So I think I'll do the um, top hat assembly this evening and I'll get it broken down tonight, but I'll do the breakdown off camera. So let me set you down and uh, get the top hat ready to go. All right, so I've broken it down. This is the main body of the top hat. And we need to put a bunch of heat certs in. Two here, one here, two here, one here, two here, one here, two there. And I'm going to put a couple in these holes as well. Um, just in case I decide to mount anything up here, like LEDs or something like that in the future. Um, I'll have the heat suits in. So I've got the heat suit tip back in the soldering iron. Got a bunch of these heat suits left. Just kind of going to get right to it.
Okay. All the heat certs are in. Time to strip these off, and then I think it's going to be uh, M3s of a var uh, varying sizes, probably 8s and 12s. We'll uh, come back when I get those uh, figured out. So I think you'll be able to tell by the reflection, but I got the bottom piece in. You kind of have to do this all at once. So we'll strip out the uh, protective plastic on these, which can be a little hard to get it to come. One side will always be a little trickier than the other. Now you get it popped in. Take one of the little pieces and uh, snap in like that. Then you get another side piece on. You take one of the triangular bits. It'll pop in like that. You run some screws down top hat is finished, so I'll come back when the top hat is complete. Alrighty, so the top hat has been assembled. Got all the corner supports and all the main supports in. All the necessary polycarbonate pieces in. And uh, that's how we're looking right now. Pretty good shape. I do plan to uh, mount this thing up on the V0 once that rebuild is done and we're going to start that one probably next week. So Alrighty, it has been a couple of days but I have got the Voron V0 finally all put back together. This is the update with all the new parts, hinges, the bottom panel, Unupdated back panel, including the serial number of this particular Voron. New tool head, still using the um, E3D V6 clone. The door even works. Shortened up the Bowden tube and the wiring loom. I've tightened that up. Still have the disconnect on the tool head so I can build replacements. I have a little bit more tuning. I've got to get the end stop in the right position, get the bed back where it's supposed to be, zero at the bed. I did put on the spool holder. That is something that is super handy to have. I may go with a different spool holder. And of course, how can we forget the top hat? So the top hat is also on there. I'm also using this weird G, uh, GT2 belt. It's not a gate, so I've got 10 feet of it. We'll see how long it lasts, but it is a um, steel reinforced belt instead of a fiber reinforced, so I think it'll last fairly well. I've moved the pocket watch down into the back here, as you can see, and I've run a piece of Bowden tube out through the back panel and I'll get a mount printed up for it for down here so it can feed off the spool right into the, uh, the tube. I also went with the one-piece skirt mods and I'm not quite done because I do have a pie camera coming in and I'm gonna put a pie camera right here in the corner that feeds into the back. That way I can use the camera view on Octoprint and be able to monitor progress. I also have some LEDs coming in, so I'm going to make some LED light strips for both side rails here that will shine down so I can control the lights and see what the camera can 
because I usually print with the lights in this room off. Still running the side mount, and I've got a couple more of these clips to print because I didn't print enough of the mid panel clips. But other than that, we're in good shape. See, I'm missing mid panel clips here on this side. But that is what I'm thinking will be the final update for V0. Might do some more if I decide to mod it out or if something breaks. If you guys have questions on it, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, and I will be certain to get back to you also over on the Discord. Jump in, say hi, and uh, let's get some discussions going in the 3D printing channel. Hope to see you then. Sharps out. So this is SharpShot21, thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoyed the quick overview on the rebuild parts for the V0 and the top hat assembly. We will see you guys next week where we start, or at least go through the overview on the rebuild for the V0, anything that I've tweaked or changed, any of the new developments, um, I don't think there'll be too much, it'll probably just be a walkthrough of the final version, um, reassembled, and uh, maybe a little printing. Look forward to seeing you next week. Sharps out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.